Wallace. I'm the consumer horticulture agent with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service in Durham County. I'm here to talk to you at the Briggs Avenue Community Garden about how, how and when to harvest okra. So here we are in front of the okra and these were planted in May and we are now in September and there we're in full harvest and they will continue to produce fruit all the way into around Thanksgiving. They're very hardy. Um, what I want you to see here is this okra here is too big. It's much too big. If you put it next to my hand you can see how big it is. It's almost the same size as my hand. We've got another one here that's even bigger. It's a really big. That's too big. And what happens is okra produces really quickly and if you don't harvest it regularly and, and go out every day then it can easily go from being the right size to harvest to being the wrong size. What you want is, is small okra. Okay, so if you look at my hand and you look at the size of the okra you can see that it's uh, about an inch and a half to two inches in size and that's that's about the right size that's the size that it's going to be nice and tender and very flavorful and not too hard and tough um, and that's really important with with fruits and vegetables bigger isn't always better in fact bigger sometimes is is not good at all so you want to make sure that when you harvest them you get it with okra you get it the right size so if you are in a situation where you have lots of these large okra that are too big to really eat, they are really nice additions to cut flower arrangements. And a lot of florists will use these in cut flower arrangements. Um, and so there is a way to, to use them so that they don't go to waste.